Hi, everybody, and welcome back to English for You. I'm Pat. I'm Elsie. And we're on day two of our article about the tomb sweeping or Qingming. Is that right? Qingmingjie. Qingmingjie festival that's going on right now. So yesterday we saw that Xiao Ming and his family are visiting their grandparents' tomb during tomb sweeping festival. And Xiao Ming doesn't seem very happy to be there, so his parents are trying to teach him some respect. Yeah, he didn't like getting up quite so early in the morning. Yeah, he was complaining the whole time, I think. Right, and his mom said, "No, dawn is the best time to talk to the spirits. We've got to go and pay our respects." So we we saw them arrive at the tombs, and they were all covered in. Dust and junk, so they cleaned up the tombs. Right, the mom assigned Xiao Ming to clean to sweep the floor, right,、mm-hmm. around the tombs. They are also going to leave offerings, including oranges. Yeah, Xiao Ming kind of wanted to eat one of those. He was starving. He said,、oh, "I'm starving. I'm so hungry." And mom said, "No, those are oranges for your grandparents. They are offerings, but they're going to eat something later." Hmm, red bean drip. Okay, I'm. I'm not sure if I've ever actually eaten it, but it's a kind of street food, actually. What's inside it? Um, some peanut powder,、oh, okay. some Qingcai vegetables,、uh-huh. and some tofu. Oh, okay. Yes,、mm. I have had that kind of thing. I've had certainly had the one with the ice cream in. Oh, kind of similar, I guess. That's one of the one type. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, it's obvious that Xiao Ming has to learn to be thankful for his ancestors, and we'll see today if he actually learns this over the course of the conversation. Let's read through day two and find out if he does. Reading. Remembering the dead at tomb sweeping festival. Xiao Ming has finished sweeping the tomb. His father is opening a box full of stuff. What's in the box, Dad? We've got some fresh fruits for your grandparents. They especially loved oranges. There's a bottle of wine for your grandfather too. I've got a bunch of flowers and some incense. We burn paper money by the tomb. To give our ancestors a large fortune in the afterlife, place the flowers on the tomb, Xiao Ming. Will you be buried here too, Dad? I'll probably be kept in a columbarium. There's not much space left in cemeteries. What's a columbarium? It's a building where urns are kept. An urn is a pot where we keep people's ashes. It's time to pray. First, we need to show that we are thankful to Tu Di Gong. He protects the cemetery. Then we can pray for Grandma and Grandpa. They light incense and pray. I miss you, Mom and Dad. What were they like, Dad? I don't really remember them. Let's eat some runbing, and I'll tell you some stories about them. So we start off by seeing that Xiao Ming has finished sweeping the tomb. Remember, yesterday it was covered in dust, junk, maybe fallen leaves, old flowers, bits of trash. He swept it all away. Maybe put stuff in a bag. Everything's looking great. We also know that his mum and dad they were preparing the offerings.、Mm-hmm. So we see his father is opening a box full of stuff. Now this word "stuff" as a noun is pretty useful because it can mean anything. It's not a specific term. Stuff could mean food. It could mean things. It could mean clothes. It could mean furniture. If I said, "Oh, I've got so much stuff in my apartment," I could mean anything. If I said, "Oh, I need to pack all my stuff for my vacation." That stuff is going to be more specific to vacation things, clothes, bathroom items. So sometimes you need some context to figure out what it is. But it's just a catch-all term for all kinds of items, objects, and things. Here's an example. There's some stuff in this drawer, but I don't know who any of it belongs to. Stuff 这个名词非常好用，它代表的是物品、东西，那是一个不可数名词，要特别小心。所以有一些东西 ，some stuff， 很多东西 ，a lot of stuff. Right, we don't say stuffs. 嗯。
那像是呢，我们可以说 ，Is there any space for my stuff in the room? 房间里面有没有空间放我的东西？那在 Day Two 第二天的故事背景当中呢，小明扫完墓了，他的爸爸正在打开一个充满物品的箱子。Okay, now Xiao Ming sees this box with all the stuff, and he asks, "What's in the box, Dad?" 箱子里面是什么呢？然后爸爸说啊 ，We've got some fresh fruits for your grandparents. They especially loved oranges. Ah, well, of course. There we go. The oranges that Xiaoming wanted to eat. They were a favorite food of、uh, his grandparents. They really liked these fruits more than other fruits. But looks like there's a big selection here. And that's not all. Dad says there's a bottle of wine for your grandfather too. What is wine? Let's find out. Wine is an alcoholic drink made generally from grapes. They can be made with dark grapes and light grapes, which is where we get the red wine and the white wine. Champagne is a special kind of fizzy wine from one part of France. But you can make kinds of wine from pretty much anything. There is rice wine. I think mijo is the name for that one. Just for the same kind of process. You can make wine out of other kinds of fruits. You can make a kind of honey wine. Just anything which has got enough sugar in to be turned into alcohol. You can call it a wine if it's made in a certain way. So wine, we often just think of the red and white stuff that comes in bottles, and you could say. A glass of wine can go with a meal and make both taste better. Wine 指的是呢用葡萄酿造的酒，那 red wine 指的就是红酒 ，white wine 那就是白酒了。Yeah, I think I made a bit of a mistake there. There are dark and light grapes, but I think the darker wines have got more of the skin left in,、mm-hmm. and the whiter wines don't have as much. But they do use different kinds of grapes. Okay, 那小明的爸爸就说啦，这里有一罐要给你祖父的葡萄酒。So I guess his grandpa used to love wine. It seems、hmm. like it. Yeah, many people enjoy a glass of wine, but of course, it's alcohol. Don't drink too much; <laughs> you'll feel very sick. So that's some of the stuff in Dad's box. Mum then adds, "I've got a bunch of flowers and some incense." So this word "bunch" is usually used for a collection of flowers that are tied together and arranged nicely. I've got a bunch of roses, a bunch of different flowers, a mixed bunch of flowers that you can give to someone. We also use the word "bunch" for things growing off the same sort of stem or bit of plant. We would say a bunch of bananas, sort of anywhere from three to six that are、mm-hmm. all connected. A bunch of grapes, where you've got the long stem with you know twenty or something grapes all growing off it. We use "bunch" for those. We might say the husband bought a bunch of flowers at the gas station and brought them home for his wife. Bunch 指的是树或是串，所以 a bunch of something 那就是一串一树的某物。A bunch of flowers 一束花 ，a bunch of bananas 一串香蕉 ，a bunch of grapes 那就是一串葡萄。那除了一些花之外，一束花之外，妈妈还有一些 incense， 那就是祭祀用的香。Yep, of course you can burn that to make a nice smell, and that's not the only thing they're going to burn. Mum says we burn paper money. By the tomb to give our ancestors a large fortune in the afterlife. So generally, the word fortune means a large amount of money. It could be just an amount, but usually a large amount. And a fortune is something that somebody can use how they like to create their lives. You talk about making a fortune, you know, by doing some kind of work or getting lucky. You win a fortune on the lottery. You could lose a fortune with bad financial decisions. You just oh lost all my money. I've lost a fortune. You can kind of use it in a not real way. If you said this car cost me a fortune, you don't mean it cost all the money you have in life.、Mm-hmm. You just mean it's very expensive. Here's another example sentence: The man made his fortune on the stock market. 例句说的是啊，男人在股市里面大赚了一笔，所以呢 ，a fortune 或者是 a large fortune 指的就是一大笔的金钱。So burning this money will mean the money kind of goes to the the ghost world, the afterlife, so the pet grandparents can spend it. The afterlife is used in many different cultures,、uh, and it's the place. That it's believed people go to after they die. Now there are many different versions of things like heaven, 
hell if it's for bad people. Some people believe there's like waiting areas they、mm-hmm. have to go to and stay, or tasks that they have to do before they can go to the better places. So it's any of these many different types of worlds, ideas that people's ghost spirits will go to after death. After life, 看到字你就知道它的解释了，就是死后的生活或是来生。所以妈妈这边就说了，我们会在坟墓旁边 burn paper money， 那就是烧纸钱这个动作。那这样子呢，才可以让祖先在死后的世界有大笔的金钱可以花用。Okay, so now they're kind of starting the tomb sweep. They've cleaned the tomb. Now they're kind of putting the offerings out in a nice way. Mum says, "Place the flowers on the tomb." Xiaoming. Here, the place is a verb, meaning place. So, Mum wants Xiaoming to place flowers on the tomb. So, Mum wants Xiaoming to place flowers on the tomb. So, Mum wants Xiaoming to place flowers on the tomb. Yeah, he's now starting to think a bit about what's really going on and what all this means. So he asks if his dad will be buried here. What does this mean? Well, let's take a moment to look at the word bury. So to bury is to place something in the ground and cover it up. Now there are many reasons to bury something. You talk about dogs sometimes bury bones. Animals will bury food for later. You can bury food with hot stones as a cooking method. You could be a pirate and bury treasure somewhere so you can find it later. But here we're talking more specifically about when somebody has died, the the body, the bones, and everything that's left is buried in the earth. It's put in a special box. It's laid down. It's covered. There's a bit of a ceremony, a ritual, and that's where they are laid to rest. But as we're going to discuss a little bit later in the article, here's an example sentence. Fewer people are buried these days than in the past, as there isn't as much available land. And we're going to talk about that in just a moment. Bury 这个动词呢，代表埋葬或是掩埋。那它的三态要特别小心哦。过去式跟过去分词呢，去 y 加上 i e d 念作 buried。那小明这边就问了，爸爸，你以后也会被葬在这边吗？用到的是未来被动 ，will be buried. Hmm. Yeah. Future tense. Hmm. Future passive, because somebody else will be doing the burying. So Dad says no and explains what else is going on. He says, "I'll probably be kept in a columbarium. There's not much space left in cemeteries." Now, don't worry; that's a long, complicated-looking word, but we are going to explain it in just a moment. 是的，所以他这边就是说啊，我可能会在 columbarium 里面，那墓园剩下的空间不多了。所以小明跟我们有一样的问题，小明就问了 ，What's a columbarium? Exactly. Well, you probably know what it is, but you didn't know that this is the name for it. Mom explains it's a building where urns are kept. So you might go, Well, what's an urn? Mom is telling us that too. An urn is a pot where we keep. People's ashes. Ashes 的意思是呢，人的骨灰。那它永远都是复数型哦，要小心。那我们看到的 urn 指的就是骨灰坛，所以骨灰坛要放在哪边？要放在灵骨塔里面。所以 columbarium 指的就是灵骨塔，也就是骨灰坛存放的地方。Yeah, I've been to one of these places. It's up on a mountain somewhere,、mm. like past Dan Shui, up towards the coast.、Yeah. That's where there's a a lot of rooms, a lot of、uh, urns there. That's where. Uh, my mother-in-law is right now, so Dad then says it's time to pray. First, we need to show that we are thankful to Tu Di Gong. Thankful is the same as grateful. Something good has happened, and you are happy that it's happened. You're grateful. You appreciate the current situation that you are in. So you want to say, "Oh, thank you for this. I'm pleased that this is happening." Thank you for making it happen. You might say, "I'm thankful that I brought my umbrella with me today because it's raining heavily." Thankful 这个形容词呢，代表感激的。那你会看到它是用 thank 加上字尾的 f u l 组成的形容词。那我们可以怎么样说出这个句子呢 ？I'm thankful 后面可以接 that， 再加上一个子句，也就是主词加动词的结构。像是呢，我们的例句刚 Pat 说到的是，我感激我今天有带雨伞，因为雨下的好大。那再来第二种，我们可以用 I'm thankful for 后面加上名词，代表的是对点点点表达感激。For example, I'm thankful for your help. 那就是我感激你的帮忙。再来呢，第三种你还可以用 I'm thankful 
加上 to 以及一个原形动词，那就是对能够做某事表达感激。For example, I'm thankful to see that he arrived home safe and sound. 我感激看到他安然无恙的回家了。所以以上这三种，同学们都可以试试看使用一下。那爸爸说啊，要拜拜了，我们要先对土地公表达感激。So who or what is Tudi Gong? Tudi Gong. I believe he's the the god that protects the land. Okay, because yeah, okay, Lord of Land.、Mm-hmm. It sort of translates、yes. to something like that. I think I've seen he he always carries kind of a a, a long stick. He's、uh-huh. kind of got a beard, that sort of thing. Yeah. I think I've seen a few sort of、uh, pictures and representations. Well, Dad's telling us a bit more, and he says. He protects the cemetery, so I guess he makes sure that everything goes down nicely、mm-hmm. there. So we've got to say thank you for looking after this part of the land.、Right. Thank you for making sure all the people can rest here peacefully. So Dad then says, "Then we can pray for Grandma and Grandpa." 土地公呢会保护墓地，所以呢我们要先拜土地公，然后我们就可以拜祖父母了。然后呢，我们就看到文章后面说啊 ，they light incense and pray. 他们就点香祭拜。Yeah, when we use light as a verb in this way, we mean set something on fire. You light a fire, light a match, light some incense sticks. Dad then says, "I miss you, mum and dad." Okay, 爸爸跟他的父母说 ，I miss you, mum and dad. 那就是跟小明的祖父母说了。那小明这边说什么呢？ What were they like, Dad? I don't really remember them. So, 代表小明对祖父母是不太有印象的。Yeah, I guess they maybe passed away when he was still pretty young.、Mm, he or didn't. Or before he was born. Or before, yeah. Well, if you don't really remember them, you maybe、oh, okay. I remember these people. I remember visiting them as a kid, but so much time has passed. I don't really remember. I would probably say the same about my great grandparents.、Mm-hmm. We definitely visited them. Some I remember long. Because they lived longer, but one no, I remember us visiting, but I don't remember anything else about her, what she was like, and so on. And you know, I don't know too much about even my dad's parents when they were younger. So you might say, what were they like?、Mm. You know, maybe I just saw them as they picked me up from school and gave me dinner and let me watch cartoons. But what were they like? What did they do when they were younger? Yeah, and remember to use past tense because they passed away already. Exactly. Well, Dad says, "Let's eat some runbing, and I'll tell you some stories about them." Just like we mentioned yesterday, this is a way to keep people's memories alive. You pass on the stories that really show them as not just oh they were old people that we went to visit, but no, they were people. They had lives. They did stuff. They went to places. 是的，所以最后爸爸就说呢，那我们来吃一些润饼卷，然后我来告诉你关于他们的故事。So it looks as though at the start of the article, Xiaoming was very kind of oh why are we so early? Restless. I'm tired. I want to eat this prayer orange, the offering. What's the point in all this? But by the end of the article, with all this that's been going on. He's kind of come to realize, oh, this is an important thing. This is a nice thing. He's even thinking, wow. My dad will pass away someday,、mm-hmm. and I will be doing this maybe with my children、right. for my father. Yeah. So that's kind of making him feel a bit more solemn, a bit more respectful. So yeah, it's a good change that's happened to Xiaoming. Yes, and he can learn from his dad about his grandparents. Okay. Well, that brings us to the end of the article. So let's go now to today's for you chat question. So the article's got quite a serious question here. Do you believe in an afterlife? What do you think happens when we die? Actually, I don't believe in an afterlife. I think when we die, we just die.、Mm-hmm. Our life just ends. Okay. And nothing else will happen. Nothing else will happen. We'll、mm. have you know ashes or a body. It'll go in the ground into a columbarium, something like that. Or just spell splash in the sea or something. Yeah, something like that.、Yeah. Okay. Do I think do if I I have a I think I know what's going to happen to me in my afterlife. I've got a pretty good idea, and I think if I just you have of, an idea, I hold. I'm going to hold to this, and I think it'll work out. Okay. So I have spent many, many years writing stories about made-up worlds.、Uh-huh. Okay, I've you know written books, written stories. 
I think when I die, I will go into that world, and I will finally be able to walk around this place. The world you created. Yeah, meet the people I've written about, see the places I've described, experience it firsthand. That's what's going to happen to me. That will be very fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when I think of it like that, death doesn't seem so scary because you go, "Oh, that's actually going to be really nice." No wonder I'm scared of death. Well, because I think once we die, everything just ends.、Happened. Uh, it's it's a it's a difficult subject to talk about, so I think we're going to leave it right there. Thanks for watching, everybody. For English for you, I'm Pat. I'm Elsie, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Vocabulary review. Stuff. I have too much stuff in my bag. It's so heavy. Wine. Mary brought a bottle of wine to serve with dinner. Bunch. Paula brought a bunch of grapes to work for her morning snack. Fortune. Jerry spent all his money opening a new cafe, and lost a fortune when it failed. Barry. Sadly, Phil's cat got so old that it died. He buried it in his garden. Thankful, Jerry is thankful for the care he received at the hospital while he was sick. 智慧小补帖 Afterlife. The show is produced by Huo Yong Kongzhong Mei Yu. Huo Yong Kongzhong Mei Yu Magazine, please look for all the local bookshops. If you are interested in purchasing books, please call 02-2364-4000. 02-2364-4000. Or go to the website and search the website www.dot.english.cu.net. www.dot.english.cu.net.